Well, it's Tuesday, and uh, good morning, guys. The problem here is we got no sun at all, hardly. The, they were supposed to be sunny today. I don't know if it's going to come this afternoon a little bit or whatever. We'll see. I just wanted to show you something I had gotten in the mail yesterday. Now, I'm not sure if this is the guy's name. It must be, but Cage Hill Sawyer. What this is, is it's a... Uh, a list of cants sizes and diameters of logs and the nice thing about it it's on a magnetic like rubbery card so I think this is a really neat idea I don't know uh, if he had them made or what but it certainly is a nice little thing here and I'm trying to figure out where to put it on the sawmill I think right there, yeah. This way I could see it from both sides. See, I used to have the other one here. A little harder to see, and I had to keep pulling it in and out. I'm going to leave, leave it in there for a little while, but I'm going to leave this one right here and see how good this works. So this fella is from Alabama. I'm not going to be using his personal name, but very nice guy to talk to. I talked to him on the phone the other day. He has a cook sawmill, which is made down that way somewhere. Or Mississippi, I think he's from, not Alabama. And um, he wants to have a, uh, a cutter made to cut gravel siding. And I've been looking at the cook sawmills, and instead of having one uh, two-inch a bunk beam like this it has a, a two inch I think a one inch and then on top of that is a piece of stainless so I th I've already figured out how to do it it's not going to be an issue I just need the exact measurements so as soon as I get those I'll be able to make these uh, bevel siding cutters and then he'll be able to buy them and we'll go from there but in the meantime be uh, before I go anywhere this morning you can see there's a lot of leaves falling already I need to uh, do some planning today, but I gotta take the dog out first. So that's where I'm headed first. I'll be back to you. Oh, it looks like there might be a little sun coming. Hey guys, I wanna just show you the difference between some of the oaks here. Um, <clears throat> this is a red oak. And if you look at it, you can see there's a lot of small flecks in it. And depending upon the light, how it hits it, they'll actually shine a little bit. This is white oak. That one, this is white oak. And one of the ways you can tell is that the wood itself is very close in color to the, to the sap wood. And you don't get the same kind of flex, gold flex, that you would in red oak like that one has in it. I mean, it's hard to see the gold right now because the sun's not shining. But, um, and the other thing is, man, is this board heavy. But the good thing about white oak is when you make furniture out of it, you've got a nice heavy piece of furniture, and it lasts forever, this stuff. So the white oak is a pretty nice um, product to make furniture from, you know, as long as you can pick it up and it's not going to, and you design it so it's not quite so heavy. You can see the red oak down in here, the little variation in color compared to the white oak. Same thing on the sides here. You can see the, this is red oak down in there, and then the white oak looks different than that. It does, it's not quite as grainy looking. I mean, it has all the grain naturally because it's a tree, but it just, the color of it is a lot lighter. I can't, you know, not white, but it's lighter and um, it, it's very close to the sapwood color. It's not that far off. I mean, you can see there's a difference right there, but it's not as bad as what the white or what the red oak would be if the red oak was all uh, had a big piece of sapwood next to it. So I'm going to keep going here. I have about ten layers to take off. I don't know if I can get them done today or not. I hope so. If nobody bothers me. So what we have here now. This is a. Uh, white pine. This side is white pine. On this side, this is red pine. Now, one of the differences, this is red pine here as well. 
One of the differences in the wood isn't so much that the, the color variation, because you can get all kind of colors in white pine. The difference here is the, the uh, branches. The number of branches in red oak or red pine is a lot more than what it is in white pine because the red pine uh, drops its branches as it goes up. It, it uh, prunes itself. So you end up with a lot of these knots, black knots, uh, you know, regular knots uh, and stuff. But in the white pine, you end up with less. Now, that's, you know, not always true. It depends on how high up the white pine you go because you're going to get a lot more branches. But excellent white pine. This is a nice white pine board. Even the red pine. You know, for framing work and stuff like that, you can't beat this. And it's, it's nice and straight. It's laying flat. Very happy with the wood I've been getting out of this kiln this past couple uh, days here and stuff. Well, guys, it's after lunch now. And uh, I've been planning, you know, this morning and stuff. And you can see I got some really nice red oak there. Not a one knot in this one board up there like a half inch knot but a couple of boards like that there's also some nice uh, white pine under there that came out good it has knots in it but it's beautiful wood so anyway um we're getting there and then as far as the uh, kiln goes not a whole lot more left than the one side one two three four five six there's around 24 boards left altogether, 25 boards. But it's looking real good. I'm very happy with what's coming out of here so far. Looks good, it's worth the time, worth the effort. We're gonna have some nice pile of wood here to put in the greenhouse. Well guys, as you can see there, I've got a pretty nice load of lumber. I'm keeping this tarp on there because I'm not putting the lumber away today yet. I have a couple more rows to do, and it's getting late, but I have other things I have to take care of. But um, there was white oak, red oak, a red pine, white pine in there this morning. So got a lot of nice white pine out of it. Um, actually, everything was nice that I cut today, except for probably two boards over there. One had a big knot in it, and the other one. Um, had a little crack in it that I didn't want to fool with. The rest of them were pretty nice. So, like I say, I have a couple more rows here. Not many. Uh, three rows there yet that I need to cut up. But they're 1 by 12, some of them, and it takes a while to do that. And like, like I say, I just don't have time today to do it. So, um, I need to get my tractor over here so I can rid of the pile that's just from today so I wish I had <clears throat> bags and a customer that I could give this stuff to because man oh man there's a lot of it and you can use this in the chickens and all but I just don't have anywhere to store it at the moment so I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just gonna push it over there in the woods for now so anyway guys I uh, hope you had a good weekend and everything and a good Monday yesterday looks like it's just uh, gonna be a nice week this week again so you can see up in the sky there got a lot of breakup of clouds a little cloudy but it's supposed to be nice I think Thursday they're calling for a little rain and then sunny again so all right guys so have a good one bye
Well, we got cleaned up there, all that dust. There's still some other things I want to get done here before it's the first snow. My problem here is it's in a, I'm kind of in a hurry because I got to get the rest of that uh, planed in there and I got to get this in there before the first week of October is over because uh, last year and in 2009, we had snow on the 2nd of October. And in 2009, it never left until May. So I don't want to have that happen.